been so inspired by the ministry of Kenneth and Gloria Copeland. In fact, my intense love for the Word of God has been fueled by their simple yet profound teachings around its truths. The other day, I was reading an extract from one of their teachings on being born again, and it reminded me of the unconditional love and grace of God for everyone who chooses to walk in covenant with Him. Listen to this analogy of being born again. Imagine a baby that was born by an unwed mother. Nobody knows who the father is and nobody cares. The child is unwanted and belongs to no one. Then the best family you can think of comes along. They are financially blessed and stable. They are givers and they love people. They fall in love with the abandoned baby and they adopt it. That baby becomes reborn. He is adopted into a new family that will change his life and destiny forever. He now becomes an heir to his new parents. And the beautiful truth about this whole picture is that baby didn't do anything to deserve that adoption. He wasn't chosen on merit of what he had accomplished or his excellent character. No, he was a helpless abandoned baby. The man and woman agreed out of love in their hearts to bestow grace on the child. Now he has access to everything they have. And huh, listen to this. That baby can behave as a treasured part of that family, receiving the same birthright as the firstborn son. What an amazing gift. And that is exactly what it means to be born again into the family of God. Jesus in John 3, 3 says, we must be born again to see and experience the kingdom of God. Because without accepting His grace and unconditional love, we simply can't enter into the new relationship of favor that He has for us. Jesus offers us a brand new identity in Him. His name, His authority over the enemy, His power to overcome, and His word that is alive and teaches us about who we are in Him. Being born again is not just a ticket to heaven, it's a glorious covenant relationship with the gracious and mighty Savior who loves us with an everlasting love. It's a love so deep and wide and high and fierce that there is nothing that can ever separate us from it. And all of this is ours, not because we've earned it, but because we have chosen to accept it.